a quick tip. Make sure you check out the description box down below. Coffee, coffee, coffee. Must be funny while having healthy goals. Hey there, we are back with another video. But first of all, I want to ask you a question. Are you a coffee person or a tea person? If you're a coffee lover, I know you adore that magical elixir, which makes you feel sure fire and transforms you into a morning person. Well, almost. But before you pour your next cup of coffee and drink it, there's something you should know. Some medications and coffee are similar to oil and water. They just don't get along. Grab your mug and let's dive into the caffeine chaos and medicines that are its enemies. Number 1. Antidepressants It's a welcome party to the No Coffee Club, Mr. Happy Pills. If you're depressed and a coffee addict at the same time, then you should quit one of them. Monoamine oxidase inhibitors are used to treat depression, but pairing them with coffee can lead to sky-high blood pressure and make your heart race faster than Usain Bolt. Yikes! If you're an MAOIs, it's best to start being a tea person. Number 2. Antibiotics Fighting infections and coffee? Not a good combo. Some antibiotics like ciproflexin and norflexin don't like to be in the same place as caffeine. Together, they will make your body metabolize slowly, causing jitters, insomnia, and a heart rate that feels like a techno beat. So, while your body battles bacteria, just let it do so without making it hard for it. Number 3. Asthma medications, or Theophylline. Breathe easy, but without caffeine, please. Theophylline used for asthma has a connection with caffeine. Its structure is actually like caffeine's. Mixing two can cause some side effects like palpitations, nausea, and insomnia. Although your lungs appreciate the relief you gave them, your nerves will be bouncing off the walls. Stick to decaffeinated drinks and keep their airway rattling. Number 4. Antipsychotics Stay relaxed without this drink. When caffeine enters the scene, certain antipsychotics medication should back off. They can be less effective, also amplify side effects, leaving you feeling more wired than wise, if it was your goal. Want to have a balanced mind? Then stay away from the coffee grind. Number 5. Blood pressure medications Low blood pressure with a coffee break. Caffeine can frustrate the effects, which blood pressure meds are working hard to do. This mixture makes your heart work harder than it needs to. Instead of risking your heart, why not try a common chamomile? Your heart and your doctor will be thankful. Number 6. Thyroid medications. Keeping your thyroid thriving by stopping drinking coffee. If you're on levothyroxine for thyroid issues, you should be patient and wait at least 30 to 60 minutes before getting involved with coffee. This drink can make medicines less effective by interfering with the absorption of them. So take your pill and give it some time to work its magic before you get back to coffee. Your likes and subscribes are like morning coffee to us. They are so delightful and energetic, so please let us have a share. Number 7. Pain relievers like aspirin and ibuprofen. Pain relief without using any percolator. This combo is exactly what you're avoiding by taking pain relievers. Cause some pain relievers may irritate your stomach and coffee will add fuel to the fire. This can lead to more discomfort than relief. For a pain-free day, support the relationship between your meds and water and save the latter for later. Number 8. Blood thinners or warfarin. Do not ship blood thinners and with coffee. Coffee loves to keep things moving, and this means blood thinners like warfarin are not its favorite type, so it can turn into a bad breakup story. Caffeine will mess with your body's ability to clot blood, which will lead to unexpected bruises or worse than that. 
So just let these two enjoy their lives separately without even starting to know each other. Number nine, heart medications or beta blockers. Hear your heart's holler. To make it clear, beta blocker is Real Madrid CF's player and coffee is FC Barcelona's. Beta blockers have a goal to calm your heart down while coffee does its best to pump it up. In between, your heart will be confused about whether to get ready to have a good rest or start to have a warm match. And we all know that watching El Clasico is always fun but it does not always have good results. Number 10. Anxiety medications. Benzodiazepines. Benzodiazepines and coffee, drama of the year. Benzodiazepines are used to be chilled with, but coffee is the ultimate master of being hype. Mixing these will lead to less effectiveness of your anxiety meds, leaving you feeling like you've had too much caffeine, because you have. Number 11. Contraceptives. Coffee won't wait for the baby to come out, it will get to work, to work itself. Birth control pills hate coffee. Coffee can spit up how quickly your body processes estrogen, potentially stopping your contraceptives from doing their job and making your baby stay in your uterus. You might love surprises, but this duo is not the kind that you want. Number 12. Diabetes medications. Insulin. Even bitter coffee loves sweetness. Insulin and coffee are not best friends. Coffee won't let the medicines do their job, affecting blood sugar levels and want to interfere with how your body uses insulin, leading to some spikes but unpredictable blood sugar ones. It's like trying your best to follow a recipe without knowing some steps are missing. So there you have it. Now you know the medications that should steer clear of coffee. While it is common that your morning brew is your best friend, sometimes it's best for you and maybe others to let it shine on its own without the company of this particular meds. And if you will be in trouble not taking these medicines, then let the coffee beans rest in the cabinet. If you haven't mentioned the medicines you're taking, check with your healthcare provider and make sure that mixing your meds with caffeine will be harmful. Keep checking your health and enjoy your coffee wisely. Don't forget to like and subscribe and check their end screen as well. Until the next video, goodbye!